Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's W3 here. In today's Python tutorial video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a little port scanner, a simple basic port scanner, and we're going to scan some ports in the 1000 range, from 1000 to 99000 on a particular server, and we're going to see what we get back from port scanning, and we'll just make a little one ourselves. So, let's start off with our imports like we always do imports and we're going to import socket because we're going to be using the socket library to connect to the server and the ports and to scan through them and what we're going to be doing is making a very basic port scanner and first of all it's going to port scan ending in 000 so 1000 port 1000 port 2000 port 3000 port 4000 etc until it finds a hidden service and then we're going to change a little bit of the code and then we're going to scan from ports 0, 1 to 99 and see if we can find any ports in that port range and we're going to see what it comes back with okay so we've imported the socket next we need to do s equals socket dot socket and then we're going to do socket dot af underscore inet that's basically saying we want to use ipv4 so an ipv4 address not an IPv6. Next, we're going to do socket.sock underscore stream, and that's basically saying that we're going to be using TCP and not basically um, datagram, etc. UDP. <clears throat> so let's continue. Next, we're going to have to do um, a timeout so that if the connection is hanging or it's taken ages, you don't want to be sat there whilst it's hanging for two minutes, ten minutes, etc. You want it to just time out and move on to next so we're going to do s dot set time out to two seconds that's fine next we're going to do port equals 1000 because we're going to start with port number 1000 first of all and then we're going to do four port x in range and then we're going to do one to 100 so basically we're going to go in the range of one to 99 and then we can do a try because we're going to need to try and connect through the server and the port if that fails we're going to need to go to the exception and then we can obviously carry on to the next port number go for the try exception try exception etc so that's why we're using the try block next we can do s dot connect and then a tuple and then we're going to do we're going to do add dot sams class dot info that's the server we're going to be connecting to. It's been set up specifically for this simple port scanning uh, technique, etc., so you, that you can do it. And the port we're going to be using is obviously port. So we're going to be using port 1000 to start off with, and then we'll be adding um, adding numbers to that to make it 2000, 3000, etc. As we go through the code, I'll show you that. So next, we'll do R equals s dot receive 1024 bytes 1024 bytes that's fine so next so we can do if and then we can do da, 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 we can do a string if congratulations in r dot decode utf8 now the reason we're doing if congratulations is because this server here has been set up so that when we scan through the port ranges of 1000, 2000, 3000, etc., there's an open port that will obviously you can connect to, and then we will receive back a congratulations in a message or whatever saying that you've obviously found the port with the port scanner. So, this is what we're doing for this part of the um, program, so you can see how it works and everything. So, if congratulations in r.decode utf8, we're going to do So we're going to do print and then we're just going to do string and that string can have say square brackets exclamation mark and then we can do hidden service found and then we can just do say percent %s and then should we do a curly curly line or whatever and then percent %s again format string and we'll do a percent and then we'll do a bracket and then we're going to put, obviously, we're going to put in here 
port number and the message that we're going to receive. So we're going to do R dot decode UTF-8 so we can pull it in a string. So we'll do hidden service found and the port number and then obviously go into the message along with that port number. So that's if we find if congratulations in here, which is what we're doing for the first test. There is also a second example that I'm going to show you with this code after we've done this first one. So next we're going to close the socket once it's open. If it's connected, we've got an open socket, we want to close that. We don't want it to be using um, memory resources, draining the computer, slowing us down, etc. We don't we don't want to open a socket basically. So S dot close just to close the socket. And then we can break. We can do else. So if it's not congratulations, we'll just print out the um, message that it is the server. Say it doesn't connect. I'm sure it'll print out the message. We just need to know the port number, except and everything along with that. So we'll do print, and then we we'll do cut. We we'll do the string format string again, and then we can just do percent s curly line percent s, and then we'll do percent, and then we've got the brackets. And in here we can put port number and then we can just put the r.decode UTF-8 again. And that will tell us the port number and then whatever we receive, whether that is obviously no, it can't connect or whatever that may be. So next we'll also need to close the port, close the connection. If so, so s dot close, and now we need to do our exception. So accept socket dot error as e r -er or er uh, whatever. And then we can just print, and then we can just do percent s squiggly line percent s, and then we we'll just do a percent formatting, and then what we'll do is we'll do port and the error. So we're also going to do port plus equals a thousand. So we keep adding a thousand to the port number. So we'll go through range one to ninety nine using one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Once it hits congratulations, it will obviously say we've hidden service found, and then it will say the port number, and then the message from the hidden service, the hidden port, and then we'll break. That's the first example done with a simple port scanner. Like I said, you can use add.soundsclass.info to do this yourself to see how it works. I'm going to now save it. I'm going to run the code in Sublime Text. So I don't need to go to my console and do Python program, etc. etc. I just run it in my console. I run it. Here we go. Port 1000, Windows error, da da da. No connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it. Port 2000, no connection could be made. Yada yada yada. Then we've got here hidden service found 3000 support 3000 congratulations you found the hidden service on port 3000 and then it braked so there we go that's sort of a basic idea around a port scanner you're basically connecting to the server and you're trying all different ports you're systematically going through them obviously on a bigger program you'd you'd go through every single port from 1 to 65000 something or other but this is just basic one. We're using 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, etc. And we're showing you the idea. So hidden service found. So next we're going to tweak the program just a little bit. So then we can also see another way. So we've got port here. And that's relating to port 1,000. If we forget about the port equal 1,000 just for a second. And we go through ranges 1 to 100. So 1 to 99. So we change this to port X. So for port X in range 1 to 100. So we're going to go through the port range of 1 to 99 now. I've saved that. So all I've done is change that port to port X. And also we're going to have to change this one here. So port goes to port X and port here goes to port X and port goes to port X. Because the port numbers we're using is going to be this port X here, which is going to be in the range from 1 to 100 so now we're going to save that <clears throat> this bit here port here and port here 
this is irrelevant it doesn't really matter you can you can um, comment it out or just leave it it won't really make much difference to the next bit but anyway I'll comment it out just for now so what we've done is change the port X so we're going in the ranges of 1 to 100 now I'll save that I'll run this just so everyone can see and here we go port number one no connection could be made it's going through the ports we're port scanning from 1 to 100 now instead of 1000 2000 3000 etc we're doing a different port scan with different port numbers just to show you how it works also and we'll see if it can pick up any particular open ports that one might be able to use for obviously there we go it's finished 31.0 seconds up to 99 we've got a lot of oper we've got a lot of operation was attempted on something there's a lot of socket yada 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 keep going have a look here we go port 21 and we got 220 version ftp 30.03 whatever so basically we found ftp port here so yeah we found ftp port that is open from port scanning 1 to 100 and the other ports were obviously closed as you can see so yeah that's basically the basic idea behind port scanning like I said it's very very simple it's just to give you an idea of what port scanning is like what it's about what sort of code you would use etc how you do it sort of connecting testing out the connection and the ports trying again on a different port number etc and it's just a fun little um, host to connect to basically add.soundclass.info you can try this out yourself and thanks for watching hope you learned something new just subscribe hit that notification bell leave a comment below and keep learning everyone yeah enjoy